Yo, welcome back to another banger of a tutorial with ya boy. Today I'm going to be going through the ins and outs of how to use Growspeed, a plugin I think everybody knows well, but um, they don't really know how to utilize it or kind of make it your own. Everyone kind of just slaps on a preset and calls it a day. So I'm just going to be going into more details on how you can make your own presets. And speaking of Growspeed presets, I'm going to be using a loop from my up and coming loop and medikit. Uh, it's going to have like 40 loops in and like 20 midis and then I'm going to put in some hi hat midis as well for you guys and I think I'm going to throw in like 5 grow speed presets just to kind of tease my next kit. Um, it's going to be like a huge grow speed preset kit because I haven't really seen a lot of people make grow speed preset kits. Because I haven't really seen a lot of people make like grow speed preset kits recently. I've seen it in the past but I think I kind of want to like revive that whole thing. So yeah, before we get into the video, make sure to check out the description. All our socials will be down there. Um, check out the website. We have a bunch of free kits on there and a bunch of paid kits. And uh, be sure to run up the Discord because we're going to be having a bunch of new streams coming out. 3.6 is kind of taking over that department. We had like a feedback stream the other day um, and it went really well. We're going to be having a feedback stream every Sunday now. So be sure to join the Discord to keep up to date with that. We're gonna be having like one or two midweek streams as well where we kind of just cook up and link up with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Sorry for whoever is editing this, by the way. I straight up have notes on my phone to kind of go through everything I want to talk about. So this is going to be a fucking hassle to edit. Jake or 3.6, I'm so sorry. So like I said, I'm using one of the loops from my upcoming uh, loop kit. And uh, this is how it sounds. on to the basics of grow speed each one of these dark vertical lines will represent one bar of your loop so that means one of these bad boys so the whole effect on the grow speed will affect this whole four bars and then moving on the next four bars and so on and this green horizontal line if it is completely horizontal it'll represent 100 percent playback speed so if i press play now it'll just play the loop back normally And then moving on this uh, dark diagonal line, if I drag this green line to be equal to the dark diagonal line, it'll represent 0% playback speed. And moving on, on how to actually like edit the graph and how to put on your own effects. To make a new marker, you can right click on, oh damn it. To uh, make a new marker on Grow Speed, you can just right click on it and then you have a new marker to kind of play around with. And to delete a marker, you can hold down Alt and then just right click on that marker. So like I said, straight horizontal line represents 100% playback speed and the dark diagonal line is 0%. So if I were to drag this on the halfway mark, this is basically half time. So it's 50% playback speed. And then if I were to bump up the marker to this second horizontal line, it'll give me 25% playback speed. Moving down to the third marker will give me 75% playback speed. And then moving on, if I were to drag down this marker, and I went to this middle mark over here. This is kind of something that you can do to put a curve on your slope. So it's now at, I think, a smooth curve, if I'm not mistaken. So it'll kind of give me that line on the graph. If I do a single curve, it'll obviously do a single curve. So what a slope represents is like a turntable effect. So depending on how harsh the slope is, that is like how harsh the turntable effect will be. And as you can hear, it kind of goes down. And because I have this line here, it kind of speeds up again at the end. 
and another thing is if i have a upward slope it'll do the exact opposite so the downward slope will slow it down and then an upward slope will play it back at a faster speed <laughs> And like I said before as well, anywhere you make this diagonal line, it'll give us 0% playback speed. So you can kind of play around with that to do like stutters and shit. But we're to place a marker here and then bring it back straight. So this will play throughout two bars and then do a turntable effect. And then it'll play nothing for half a bar and then play at 100% playback speed at the end. Now that sounds fucking ridiculous another thing about grow speed is these numbers on your left side it goes from one to seven so basically if i were to drag a line over here at the two and keep it straight as well this will play the first two beats and then if it comes here it'll play the same two beats again so what these numbers represent is basically it goes back in time with this amount of beats yeah like i said this is going to play the first two bars and because i dragged it onto the two it'll play that same two bars because it kind of goes like back in time And then the same thing goes for if I drag it to the four, it'll start with the first two bars and then it'll go back four bars, if that makes sense. All right, another handy shortcut for grow speed. As you can see, if I drag this marker along, it's kind of just got its own, you know, free movement to it. So if you don't want that and you kind of want it to snap to grid, you can hold down alt and then drag it around and it'll obviously snap to whatever line is nearest to your cursor. Another shortcut you can use is you can hold down control and that kind of locks in your marker to only go up and down so you can't go left and right. And another shortcut is you can hold down shift and it'll kind of lock you to only go left and right and you can't go up and down. And this is kind of just to make like a bit more precise like changes to your presets. And then moving on to the volume tab, how to access it, you can just press on any one of these presets. You can just click on the empty one and as you can see it's got a kind of like amber... <coughs> got a kind of like amber color to it now and this is a lot more straightforward than the time graph so obviously this represents your volume so if i drag it down all the way it's going to be playing at a hundred percent volume and then as time goes on it'll go to zero percent this is kind of fun to play around with because you can do shit like this where you kind of have like a noise gate in a way it's something that i do a lot with shape box but uh obviously if you don't have shape box this is you know your easiest plugin to replace that so you can really go crazy uh with the volume tab just to kind of add more bounce to your loop the fuck is this thing another tip that i usually always use when i use grow speed if you kind of chop up the time graph you'll realize that with some loops it has a like sharp clicking noise to it i don't know why it does that but to get rid of that you can go to this arrow here below the time tab go to click reduction and then just put it on melodic and that'll kind of just smooth out those clicking noises for you moving on at the top and the bottom we have this mixing knobs for your time and your volume graph so obviously you guys know how that works i can put in a random little pattern here and if i press play at full it's going to be playback at full and the more i drag down the mix knob it'll have less and less of an effect on the loop And obviously the same with the volume tab so this kind of helps a lot if you kind of want to just have a bit of the effect in your loop i usually do this for the most part because doing just like full-on chops with your time graph is kind of harsh on the loop so i'll kind of put on a crazy graph and then i'll put this on like 50 percent or 30 percent just kind of have it in the background as like ear candy another annoying part of grow speed i guess is if you put in markers and you make changes you can't just press ctrl z to undo your mistake as you can see it it'll undo the mix knob but it won't undo the markers so how to undo whatever you did is you can go to this arrow here and then you can go to undo move point and i'm pretty sure you can keep on doing this until you get back to your like default state another handy thing if i made a graph and it is 
completely fucked and I straight up just want to go back to default. You can obviously delete the plugin and just reload the plugin. But an easier way is you can go to this arrow again and then you can go to... Motherfucking... Motherfucking... God, I'm such a fucking idiot sometimes. Right, where do I do this? You can go to reset to kind of bring it back to your default uh, state. So yeah, I think that is about it for uh, the tutorial. Not really much else I think I can cover about Grow Speed. It's actually a really basic plugin, but it's kind of just like how you use it. Like I said, you can get really experimental with it. As you can see, these complex presets are fucking a bit fucking nuts. So I wouldn't really advise using these. But definitely try and go into this plugin and experiment with it as much as possible. Uh, there's so much shit you can do with it. And yeah. I think that is about it for the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, check link in the description for all our socials and our website. Make sure to run up the Discord as well. We got like 50 new members off the feedback stream last time. So we are growing day by day. And um, we're going to be having a bunch of free content for you guys and free products. We're going to be hosting a bunch of beat battles now where you can win kits from us. Kind of just like cook up with us whenever. We're going to be having a tier system in our Discord as well where you can get a bunch of benefits. So definitely go check that shit out. Out. we're probably going to be announcing all of this in the next upcoming stream be sure to check that shit out yeah i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys have a good day and uh i'll check you guys in the next one fuck me